in the early days when, when, when I moved back home, I was, I, I tried to get into, go back to the friends that I knew growing up. I tried to go back into that circle. And then I realized that I, was, I, I didn't have a job. I didn't have anything to offer. I was just there. So I was like, I was perching on them. I was, they, they, they would go to the, they, they had conversations to have. I Me, mean, I was just there. After a while, my brain told me that you're not in this circle. Yes, you grew up with these guys, but they've moved past you. You don't, you don't, have, you don't have anything to compare at that level, to, to have a conversation at that level. I left that circle. I, I spoke to myself and I left that circle totally to go and find myself elsewhere. I found my level. Yes. I made new friends, people that I knew that, okay, we are all at that, at that level of we're trying to get a career, to get a job, build ourselves. I got into that circle and started, I started building ground up myself. Now I get, I get to a point where I feel, okay, I can see my, maybe those are my childhood friends, I see them outside, and we can, we can speak toe to toe, okay, now we're talking. But when I knew, I, just, I, I knew that I was not at that level. But what we see today is that people don't, re they don't speak to themselves. They stay in that circle, even though we they know that they, they are not in, they're not in that circle. And you feel that insecurity. But that insecurity now makes you feel worse as a person and makes you do things you shouldn't be doing because you are in the circle that you're not supposed to be. You know, you, am, I, am, I, am I making Maybe sense? Maybe not the circle you're not supposed to be, but the circle that at where you this, are right now, you do not feel confident enough to mm, be in. Yes. And let me say this. The circle uh, has rejected you. Yeah. Yes, yeah, the circle has rejected you and you leave. Imagine if you ask a friend for some money and she says, you know, not right now, I can't afford it. And as you have just finished talking, she brings out a Birkin bag or she brings out. So you're like, auntie, you could not give me 50K but you have just bought something of $50,000. Yes. How, you know, how is that? And here's someone, she has the right to how she spends her money. She right. has the right to make herself happy, you know, and spend it the way would, that would make her happy. But she also recognized that she will help you when she can. Yeah. It should not take away from money she spends on her, but you will judge her. You know, I went to her house, I asked her to give me this. She could not give me, but you know her daughter is using an iPhone. Yeah. So if you are not confident enough to be in that circle, right. if you're going to question how they spend their money, Oh, yeah. Maybe you should take your uh, you, you should take yourself out of that situation for a period. God Walk bless yourself you. up to a part. I remember, you know, what I was saying that in, in that circle, I kept asking for. Oh, please now, I'm looking for a job now. I'll say I'll give them my CV. They'll say, Oh, don't worry, my office, my, my boss will hurry. We'll speak all the English. I'll go there, do everything. I just realized that these guys don't want you back in. They don't, they don't want. They're not trying to bring you into this circle. I tried hard to get to force my way in, but I couldn't get in. So, that is, they were not your true friends. Exactly. You see, that is my point. If it is your true friend. They will help you, right? They will help you. Mm. Because if I have a true friend and I'm in a position to help my friend and I'm in a better, and I, I'm more, I will help my friend. Because I will not want to see my friend down. When my, my father was growing up, my father came from a middle class background. They are the people that had money to go to London to school. Their parents were not government people that chop money. They went to school. They, uh, my father's out. mother was an industrialist. She was a hard worker. Anyway, he was in school in London. But I, the, my, the kind of person my grandmother was, I will give you money. You will just have the basic bare necessities. You are, you, all that jollofing, you're not going to have it. So their clothes were the oldest clothes. They were, but my father was handsome. So he got all the babes. <laughs> you know, he <laughs> got all the babes and he was. Ah, he was a, everybody, ah, fella, 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 fella. Even though, though he wasn't popular. He came back, he became popular, he had money. His house was burnt, and then he got broke. I'm not saying that he was not frivolous at some point. Mm. Yes, but he had money, and then he mm -hmm. got broke. You see my father? You know what I like about him? He didn't let that brokenness not let him go and meet all those his London friends. There is one Oba from Abekuta. If he's listening to this conversation, he will, he, he will know that you see him I'm talking about. My father, I followed my father to his house to ask him for money. And then I was doing, fella, uh, I need money. Simple as <laughs> I need money. <laughs> I have money you boss give me <laughs> before I leave here. I don't have, they have burnt my house, I have nothing. Hmm. And that guy, he knew, he, he knew. I, I, I met him a few years ago. I, I said, your father was my friend and I just wanted myself, I, I don't know if you know that. Were I, there I, asking? Were there when my father was asking you. My father did not let the fact that he didn't have deter him from going to meet those his childhood friends who had the money. Because the guy had money now. I have a, a friend that excused herself for my, for my life when things changed, you know? Um, which I understood. I mean, we're both single. We used to hang out, this stuff together, together. I got married. I moved on with my life. I started having kids. She just stepped, stepped aside. We, we didn't 
contact as much as before. We stopped contacting, not because we had issues, but she was trying to get her life together. I was doing my own life, but if we, if we needed each other for anything, we She'll knew how there. to reach other. But now, now she's at a level where she feels that, okay, morale, we can have a conversation. Mm -hmm. And recently, she came back into my life a couple of years ago, and the friendship is there. Now, it's not as if we went apart, but we went looking for life. Life found us where we were, and it drew us apart. But because we, our values are still the same, we are still the same people, somehow we came back together, and we are still friends. So the point is that if your values are right, regardless of where you are, know where you are per time. If you're supposed to be in this friendship, be there. If you feel you're not comfortable as a person, that you don't feel that confidence in this circle, you excuse can't. yourself, leave. Mm. I, I wanted to give my father as an example. When my father had money, mm. ah, hey, <laughs> he, he was banging. Well, he had friends. Mm. Every day you go to his house, there are people. Yep. Uh, well, when they burned his house and he became broke, she not she... one hmm. of them called him, not one. Called. Called, not even visited. No, visited nothing. Mm. That was when he sat back and looked me. Eh, so I didn't have friends. Yeah. Mm. But he went back to look for his all the friends that they shared the same values growing up. He uh, was able to ask them. No, he, he went, went to ask them for money. Yes, but at least they looked for him. Yeah, but he went to go and find them now. Yeah, because he was broke. 